Hello everyone, welcome to ElliotWaveTestForecast.com YouTube channel. My name is Henry and today is Thursday, August 20th. And the time is around uh, 3 a.m. GMT. So today we will be looking at the chart of SPX. And uh, SPX <coughs> earlier today it made an all time high breaking above the level before that COVID-19 sell-off, right? So now, we can see a pullback now in the SPX, SNB, and currently we are calling this pullback as a wave 4. From here we have 1, 2, and then this is 3, uh, looking impulsive here, and now doing an ABC zigzag 4 possibly, and as long as we stay above this uh, wave 2 here, then we expect more upside in the SNB, right? So we don't like selling, obviously. Uh, it continues to make a new higher high. No reason to pick the top and uh, continue to favor the uh, upside as indicated by the right side tag here, green in color, right? Uh, and any pullback therefore can extend higher. Now, if this is a wave four, okay, <coughs> then um, the potential target for wave four is going to be around this area uh, 23.6, 38.2 retracement of the wave 3 potentially this stretch pullback can end somewhere along this area <coughs> before buyers appear again and then extend higher again okay so that's uh, what we're looking for in the shorter cycle now zooming out a little bit to get a context uh, so remember we got this one two three four if we take a look at the four hour okay I'm putting here one, two, three, and then now we are doing a four. Maybe retesting this trend line again here. Okay, before uh, another leg on the upside. So, from the June 15, looks like uh, we might be seeing some sort of uh, uh, an impulse, right? And this could be labeled, you know, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, like this. And this is uh, currently within, uh, you know, within with three, if that's the case, right? Within with three. So this one into in red here that you see on the one-hour chart starts from here. All right, starts from here, and um, <coughs> and this way it basically still <coughs> is looking for uh, for for the upside. All right, um, now what could be a possible alternate now again looking at the overall view of the market that this is what looks to be the most uh, probable path from the indices from the world indices now however if we take a look let's say on the daily now we can see on the daily since we bottom in March uh, we basically have non-stop continue to rally right in the past uh, six months right six months or so five five and a half almost six months right and we could be uh, ending this cycle um, you know like uh, some sort of five ways up and then starting to pull back but again there is no reason to try to pick the top uh, because the even the structure doesn't look uh, completed uh, right even the structure doesn't look completed from June 15 here doesn't look like a completed five waves just yet from here <coughs> so that's why calling for a more upside favoring the upside and any pullback should continue to find support uh, in the sequence of 3711 swing uh, in the first degree against 3200 30, 30, as long as this pivot is holding uh, we can continue to see more upside later on okay so that's the update for the SNP. Hope you enjoyed. Please do like and subscribe our channel. And as always, uh, if you are new uh, and would like to check our service, we have 14 days free trial. The link can be seen in the description of the video below. So I'll see you all uh, again tomorrow and have a nice day everyone.